everyone welcome back to my channel this is part 3 of my oroville trip and if you're new here i'm linking all my other videos right up here so please don't forget to check them out so in this video we are exploring a place called solar kitchen in oroville which is a major collective kitchen for the oroville community i got so nostalgic visiting this place because this is the place i used to meet up with all my friends during my lunch time while i was on my internship here this building is so close to my heart because it is designed by an architect called Suhasini Iyer and I spent my glorious six months of training under this talented architect. It's called Solar Kitchen because it has a big solar bowl on its rooftop which provides part of the steam for cooking and um, there are about 1000 lunches that are prepared every day here. But however due to the pandemic situation the solar kitchen was closed and I was unable to access the inside of the dining hall. However there is a rooftop cafeteria called La Terrace which was open. Sometimes we need to enjoy life more, enjoy every little moment, listen to yourself and stop worrying about the things you can't control. Because when I look at the people here in Oroville, I realize how happy and content they are with what they have. By taking a step back from the hustle and bustle of life, doing everything at a slower pace, enjoying the little things like, you know, reading a newspaper, enjoying a coffee or just sitting in a space like this to feel more present and alive. Although I enjoy slow living so much, it is really difficult to embrace it every day, keeping my busy schedule. But I have started to include it at least once a week to just slow down, relax and unwind by focusing on doing the things I love. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden Golden, golden things
The next place we explored is called the Visitor Center, which is designed by architect Suhasini Ayer and Sad Prem. And this space acts as one point information site for all tourists who want to learn more about Oroville. This complex houses an exhibition space which will give you a visual tour of different aspects of Oroville life. There are also a number of boutiques here if you'd be interested in local handmade stuffs and um, also a good place to buy ceramic wares. There is also a cafeteria, there is a bookshop, an information desk where you can get passes for visiting Matra Mandir, get more information about the accommodation options here and also learn about Oroville in general. Although my interest here was just to immerse myself in the architecture, I spent a lot of time walking through these spaces to admire how they have used alternative technologies in construction, the use of natural lighting and ventilation in all the spaces, the clever use of arches, walls and domes and just to experience this lovely utopia. There is so much of beauty and harmony here which is so essential for healthy living. Simple lines and minimalism here impressed me so much and the smart, elegant forms integrating sustainable and green building practices are worth mentioning. So that's about it guys for today's video and if you enjoyed this video please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I have more videos coming soon on my channel so stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Bye.